Well, everything that has a beginning always is going to have an end. And this is the end of today's episode. We've been talking about today's series, actually. We've been talking about in this series how to make the most out of virtual meetings, virtual trainings, and so on and so forth. We've been looking at six ways. And uh, today, even as I come to a close, I'm just going to tie it in. The virtual world has come increasingly being used. It's come to us when COVID-19 hit us and forced every single one of us into our homes with masks and with sanitization and so on and so forth. Some of you had never seen a virtual meeting before, but it's become a normality. It's something that is normal. It's something that is nothing much to, it's not a weird thing anymore. But I guarantee you that before COVID, it was weird. It was weird for people to say, hey, can we have a Zoom meeting? What are you talking about? What in the world is Zoom? Huh? But today it is normal. It's uh, Microsoft Teams meeting is normal. It happens daily. Actually, in workplaces, people are using this nearly daily. So the question is, how can we make the most out of it? How can we make the most out of our virtual trainings, virtual masterminds, virtual meetings? Today, let us bring this to a close. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There are two or three types of people on a virtual meeting and I've been talking about, I've been talking to one type of people, but today I'm going to look at the other. I've been talking to attendees of virtual meetings, virtual trainings, virtual masterminds. If you're just attending, how can you make the most out of it? That's what we've been discussing in the past six or seven episodes. But today I want us to look at the other types. There are two other types of uh, people who make up a virtual meeting. Number one, there is the moderator, who is someone who is not necessarily in charge of facilitating, but moderating the meeting and the other facilitators. So there is moderator and then there is facilitator. So there are these three types of people. Number one, the moderator. Number two, the facilitator. Number three, the attendees. At some point in time, you might find that the attendees are also facilitating. But you will not find that, um, you know, moderators are needed at every meeting. For the most part, you have attendees and a facilitator. But also sometimes you find that it's a mastermind where nearly everyone is an attendee and also is a facilitator that being said how do we make the most out of this virtual meeting as a facilitator if it falls on you to be a facilitator in a virtual meeting how do you make the most out of it you will do the same thing that i've shared with with you as far as attendees are concerned number one you will make sure that you're prepared prepare to serve. In fact, the seventh way to make the most out of a virtual meeting or a virtual training is to make sure that you are well prepared. Prepared to serve. 
you come to the meeting well ready i mean researched and and all that stuff if you ever got the opportunity to be the one leading a virtual meeting by all means by all means please prepare to serve your people well how many times have you attended a virtual meeting a virtual training and you know for sure that these people have not prepared there are very many tools out there on the virtual meetings themselves that you can be able to use to to help people to be engaged there is polls there is sharing white screens and there is sharing your screen itself there is sharing the videos and uh, there is music interludes and there is uh, discussion questions and i mean prepare to engage people prepare to serve people royally the, 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 I, I've said in the previous episodes I've, I've said and I've, I've addressed the attendees but at the end of the day the circle needs to be completed by you the facilitator why would I tell a tra- an attendee someone who is being trained or someone who is listening to you why would I tell them to be you know put on their video i tell them to engage in asking you questions i tell them to make sure that they're taking some notes and i tell them to make sure that they are prepared mentally they are removing all the distractions they are giving their all and then you the facilitator is like a dicico you coming there unprepared you coming there you don't care i mean you coming to a meeting you just fulfilling all righteousness what's the point he takes two to tango the two of you the facilitator who you are and the attendees they merge together they come together and they cook something to the degree that you the facilitator is well prepared by all means prepare to serve your people royally there is so much you can do out there but there's no way you'll do all that without careful consideration and careful preparation can people get new information of course people can get new information so go out there and look for this new information let people get out of your meeting even if it was how to create a blog that is the common thing that you're talking about the people can people get that information from the internet but is there something new from the original content is there something new from the normal content that people can be able to get and learn look for it as the facilitator and share with them can your method of delivery be professional enough can it include some fun is there a way that fun can be incorporated into this of course if you ask these questions you're going to get answers go to google and just say what is the most fun way of creating of conducting a virtual meeting you will get answers in fact these days there is chat gpt go to chat gpt and ask their question what is the fun way of creating a virtual meeting experience i tell you you get seven answers out of it can you create good presentations with your good content what is the best way of Uh, piecing together putting together your content that it's well presented it's it's engaging to people engagement is one of the biggest things that we're looking for in a virtual meeting can you honor your attendees by putting on an impeccable show so that they're coming out of that meeting and say i'm so glad i attended it that's how you create the engagement in the virtual meeting you are in charge of engagement as the facilitator it is it is your world it is your it is up to you it is your baby to carry and to deliver that by the time people are getting out of that meeting they know it was a meeting worth well worth attending so friends that is what you can be able to do to get the most out of these virtual meetings that we are going to be attending that is the most we can be able to do and therefore it brings us to a close of our series today where we've been discussing the several ways the analog ways that we can be able to use the to, to use to get the most out of our virtual meetings starting tomorrow we will start looking at 
how we can be able to inject purpose into a job we don't like. <laughs> but until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.